Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. I begin every audio cast with this to remind people of how to plan their lives, that life moves fast, and openly we move through our career sets in really standardized ways. We either exceed, succeed in life and excel and ascend to a different level every few years, or we don't, and we get stuck in a rut. And then we're bored and we're not sure what to do or we don't know how to change things up because we're so static in what we do. What I teach people in my marketing training programs is how to research their competition, how to streamline their language, and how to do things right so that they have always people seeking them for service. You see, it's easy to belong to a networking community and never get any business from it. You see, it gives you entertainment, gives you social time, it allows you friendships and whatnot, but it doesn't provide you the business or the life you need. Sometimes we have to walk completely away from a job and change our life completely, but we have to be prepared for the ups and the downs of that life. The ups and the downs of living in the streets is that you have to work at one level and then you're surrounded by a different level of people. A different level of people want to piss all over you, they want to take rights from you, they want to try and play with you, they want to call police on you, and you do one fucking thing wrong. But they're too arrogant to understand what their job is. Their job is to recognize poverty, recognize how close they could be to it in their own actual life, and decide, today, can I give up $10, which would normally pay for a cup of coffee and a croissant at some fancy space, to help someone move forward and have a meal on me?